Hey, how you doing? This is Peter here with the McKernan Group. Want to talk to you a little bit about um, protection, especially when it comes to properties, purchasing properties, and ultimately your primary residence versus you know owning rental properties or owning you know a certain amount of properties in your name versus a trust and an LLC. Granted, I'm not a CPA nor am I um, a lawyer. However, I've worked with quite a bit of clients that have structured themselves to set up for um, a specific way of life so they're protected if someone gets hurt on those properties, if um, someone gets sued or if they pass away or you know if something you know tragic happens to one of their family members and someone comes after them as you know uh, looking for their assets and the money that they have. So a couple of things to think about, especially when you know you're going into a new year and ultimately um, you're looking for more protection to make sure that your family's safe and taken care of and, and you are as well. Um, one thing is is a trust. So always make sure that something's um, set up in a trust. So you need to have the properties in a trust and the businesses in a trust. And and why is that? Is ultimately um, it 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 provides for va for protection for you and your family. So if someone tried to look up you know your house address, they won't really see your full name. It says you know. It doesn't say Peter McKernan, it, it's actually completely different. So that protects you. So no one can really find out where you live, which is great. Um, uh, just added protection and security for you. And then two, if, you know, um, unfortunately, if, you know, you pass away or, you know, you and your wife pass away or your spouse, uh, it ultimately provides the family. So it doesn't go into probate. It goes to basically um, the attorney or an executor or an agent on that trust, and that that person that's designated as that that individual will ultimately be able to sell the properties, get rid of all the assets, liquidate them. A lot easier than it would be if you went to um, you, you went through probate or you know your family went through probate, which could take 24 months you know, 18 to 24 months versus, you know, just having it in a trust. And that's going to provide you uh, the ability or your family's ability to sell those things quickly and, and get the money to pay off maybe debts that, that are in the trust. Like for instance, if um, there's a business that has credit card debt on it, or if there's three rental properties and one of them has a debt and then the other two are free and clear, then you can pay off the debt on that and then sell them or keep them or do whatever you'd like with them. So that's one nice protection. The other one would be uh, an LLC. So why is that uh, particularly important, especially when you own properties and um, maybe you have multiple businesses or you know, you're a high income earner? Well, uh, the LLC isn't so much for um, your primary residence as it is for rental properties. So you want to keep rental properties in there um, because it, you're not going to be taxed at your ordinary income, which you would be. So like, let's say you're, you're an investor and you're doing flips, maybe five a year, 10 a year. Well, ultimately you can take those, put it in an LLC and you're not getting taxed as high. And going back to like a trust, if people were going to look up um, maybe a couple of addresses to see if you own the properties, it goes the LLC. So it's tougher to find out, okay, well, who, who actually made that LLC? Um, and you can't really find out that, that out that easily. So there's a protection there. And then if you're sued, you have the protection in the corporate veil of the LLC. So um, instead of just going after someone else's ass someone's assets, like for instance, if you know that they're very wealthy and you get hurt on their property or something like that, it protects them because it's tougher to find out. And that corporate veil is more of a protection than it would be if it's just in your name, um, because then someone could go after all your assets, could go after your primary residence, could go after you know maybe your retirement accounts and and any other accounts that you may have or any other assets that you may have may have so make sure that you know if you have rental properties put them in the LLC also one thing that I would like to add make sure you have an umbrella policy so you have just like regular homeowners insurance well now you have an umbrella policy which is basically like a policy saying like if your homeowners insurance doesn't cover this uh, we will cover something for instance if you had a contractor there, he was unlicensed and he was doing work on the property and he got hurt. Well, if he goes to try to sue you uh, because he got hurt and he was doing work there, 
then ultimately that's going to cover you and also you know that llc is going to cover you and then if you have everything in a trust not really the umbrella policy but everything the llc is in a trust that's added protection so something to help you guys out with especially when you're looking for you know your legacy leaving your family with something making it more easier and making it more fluid and and also just having protection while you live those are things to think about a trust an llc and also an umbrella policy thanks for watching if you have any questions leave them below